And yeah. So yeah, that's, I mean, just the, um, how things just kind of progressed up so fast. I mean, I was like, wow, you know. Right. It sort of, you know, it started off, started off pretty good, you know, like yep. you guys did some great shows with, yep. with, with Chris on drums yep. and, you know, was, was doing pretty good. Then, you know, then whatever happened, you know, for whatever reason, Utting was out yeah, and, and Greg was in, then it just sort of took off musically to one of those kind of bands. Like I was think in the, the living at their best was definitely this kind of band that yes. was just, have a like the live shows would have like a momentum of their own you know it would just like yeah just almost like people you you elevate off the ground an inch or two you know when the music was just kind of playing itself and just kind of barreling along and and you know the the music the show had a life of its own rather than okay one song then the next song then the next song it just be like that uh that uh roscoe louis gallery I oh just, yeah just like, i think i remember that show and once we played Ballroom Blitz, I mean, Doug, <laughs> because Greg perfectly played the intro of Ballroom Blitz. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, and uh, Mick mean, Tucker, the sweet drummer, was yeah. just like the greatest. And, and oh. you know, I remember meeting Greg and yeah. I was like, oh, you like Mick Tucker? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, you know, because nobody ever talked about him as no. being an actual, you know, like a serious, like the badass musician and uh and you know like oh you you're like bill bruford and mick yeah. tucker and you know just instantly going off on the on the killer drummers but he didn't like some guy named pernozo from sticks he was like i don't like that guy yeah i was like <laughs> i was like i don't know much about drummers i mean i was like <laughs> okay you know and well, you know what you yeah. know what that's okay if you don't like the sticks drummer <laughs> yeah we, we don't hold it again <laughs> maybe he's a great guy i don't know yeah i'm sit down and hang no, out no i i have no comment yeah yeah but, <laughs> no, but no one where the other i know so you know and now you know my i like uh chicago and i think their drummer was a really good drum for the chicago. Danny Surf. yeah absolute killer yeah you know, exactly. really really good you know you listen like, to the first yeah. couple of chicago records are just like whoa you know then you think of what what it was like when those came out like in 1969 1970 yeah. i mean they you know they sound daring and and killer and cool now and then yeah. you think about 50 years ago what they people must have just you know obviously yeah. people were blown away because there was so many bands that tried to sound like that instantly yeah, at that yeah exactly well when you had that uh that what's his name terry cath yeah yeah terry cath Baddest guitar player around. And I mean, even Jimmy Hendrix too, just like the most. Yeah. Oh, he singer. had the best voice, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you know. when he's saying "I'm the man," uh, Steve Winwood could never keep up with what he was doing. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, he was you know, like Terry Cat. Yeah, you know, he's, got the, he's got the best verse. They each take a verse. Yeah, you know, man, in Chicago and Terry oh, yeah. verse just you know. It yeah. just plays. It's 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 the one. Now I was always think it'd be kind of cool to play that song though. And, you know, get some people out there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it'd be so much fun. <laughs> 